Hey everyone, welcome back to another session with Kelsel's Arcade. This is Rob and... Wait, wait, Lily. Why, why are you Dora? Well, I'm Dora. I don't think it's the same Dora in Golden Axe. It's me. This is Dora. It's me. It's Dora the Explorer. Okay, anyway, there's Dora in Golden Axe. But yeah, this is Rob and Lily. And in this session, we're going to be doing a re-review of Golden Axe. I did a Golden Axe review a while back, about, I guess, six to nine months ago when we got this. Um, Lily was not involved in the editing or the production in any way. So we didn't get many views. We thought we'd re re-record this and talk about some of the replay value of this cabinet. I know a lot of people have been trying to get hold of it. It was in limited supply. But we'll talk about the games, the gameplay, um, and of course the overall like, graphics and cabinet and stuff. Anything else to add, Lily? Dora is in Golden Axe. Okay, let's get into some gameplay. Big character. Okay, so first up we have the main game, Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder. This was released by Sega in 1992 on the Sega System 32. One of the cool things on here is that unlike on the original Golden Axe, you don't use all of your magic in one hit, uh, particularly the characters who have stronger stats on magic. And also if you're playing this multiplayer, you can kind of join up and do combo moves as well, which is pretty cool. One of the main composers for this game was Makoto Uchida. Um, for those who follow the Sega games, you'll know that he was also uh, responsible, at least on the team, for a lot of other Sega games, uh, including the original Golden Axe, but uh, also Altered Beast, which is on this cabinet. Um, Alien Storm arguably is a game I would have added to this cabinet if, uh, if I'd have been designing the games list, um, but also games like uh, the Dynamite Decker series um, as well. Now, uh, as we get on a little bit further on in the game, you'll definitely see some of the extra processing power they had in, in designing this game, moving on from a 16-bit to a 32-bit platform. Um, graphically excellent game, obviously much better than um, the Golden Axe original graphically. Um, I've got to say though, I still do prefer the original. And as I said, uh, with that processing power, as you can see here, you've got some kind of 3D-like effect where you move from the foreground to the background and uh, use this in a number of places to transition on different paths throughout the various levels on this game. So with that, um, that's enough gameplay for this one. Um, let's take a look around the cabinet next before we get into some uh, more gameplay from the other games. So the console is themed with excellent artwork from the Revenge of Death Adder game. I did add artwork to the kick plate here from Tyler Goodman at Arcade Graphics and Arcade Went Up doesn't do a stall, so an awesome stall cover here from John Galant at Arcade Stalls. Excellent, excellent stall cover. Otherwise the, uh, the pre-lit marquee on here is excellent, very very nice decals 
and um, I'm just going to go and exit back out to the settings menu here but while I'm doing that um, this is obviously one of the later generation uh, consoles so uh, it does have the stereo speakers as well um, and a real nice interface for selecting between the various games. And if we jump into the settings here, you can see there are settings specific to each game. So in this one, we can set the number of initial characters, for example, the amount of life you get. Um, and of course, the all important scan lines option is in here across all of the games on this cabinet. Of course, you've got the four player control deck on this one. Um, if you had four adults, it's going to be a little tight, but certainly four kids or two adults. Um, but overall, just a very, very nicely done cabinet, very nice artwork, very nice addition to the game room. So with that, let's, um, let's continue. We'll take a look at Golden Axe next. As Lily is demonstrating here, the player one joystick doesn't work here because it's two player. You've got to use the player two and player three controls. Okay, so this is the original Golden Axe by Sega, also designed by Makoto Uchida, as I said previously. Um, this was released in the arcade in May 1989, back on the Sega System 16 platform. Um, it was actually released a little bit later in North America, December 22nd. Um, and in Europe, uh, not until November 1990, um, I actually remember playing this game in uh, our local rugby club, which I used to take uh, a karate class at. So uh, lots of coinage spent on this system um, back in the day. Um, as well as the arcade, it also released, um, of course, on the Mega Drive. A lot of people had it on that. A lot of my friends at school had it on that. As well as ports over to Master System and uh, Sega CD, the Commodore 64 even. Um, as well as uh, even the ZX Spectrum, so quite widely produced, um, absolutely fantastic game. Didn't play on any of those other platforms, but certainly in the arcade, played this a hell of a lot um, on the um, Sega Mega Drive, and uh, me and my buddy used to play this for hours and hours on end on the Atari ST. So as I said, graphically not as good as the Revenge of Death Adder, but the awesome audio makes up for that, it brings back childhood memories. For me, this is my favorite game on this cabinet. And also, I mean, behind the likes of Street Fighter 2 and Outrun, um, this really is one of my all time favorite games. Definitely in my top 10. Absolutely love it. And uh, one of the reasons why I bought this cabinet. Okay, so let's take a look at Altered Beast next. This was developed by Sega, released in August 1988. Rise from your grave. Again by designer Makoto Uchida and uh, artist Riko Kadama and composer Kazuhiko Nagal. Um, apologies if I pronounce those names incorrectly, um, but a team that was responsible for a lot of Sega games at the time. Now, I played this game a hell of a lot in a local rugby club. It was cycled after, I believe, a Wonder Boy they had in there first, um, but also on the Sega Mega Drive as well. 
Um, I actually used to run a video game store myself and my family and um, <laughs> Altered Beast or Beast as we fondly referred to it was a, a cartridge that used to come in quite a lot on um, on exchange um, but um, you know very popular game initially but I guess the um, the longevity of the game wasn't as good as some of the other games at the time but still a fantastic game um, on this system one that um, we play a fair bit so um, with that I'll just leave you with um, a little bit of gameplay before we move on to the next game going to fast forward a little bit in the interest of time here just to, to progress the level a little bit more one of the cool things here is as you continue and collect the power-ups um, the character kind of evolves and gets stronger as you get towards the boss at the end was definitely always one of my favourite bits as a kid. Okay, so next let's take a look at Wrestle War. Welcome to Wrestle War! This was released in the arcade in March of 1989. Gotta say, not a game that I remember seeing at all in the UK in the arcade. Um, in Japan, Game Machine listed this uh, in April as being the second most successful table arcade unit of the year. Um, like I say, don't remember this in the UK. I do remember it being released later on the Mega Drive or Sega Genesis um, in 1991. Not a game I was a big fan of, but let's show you a little bit of gameplay here. Okay, so let's take a look at Shinobi next. Uh, this was uh, developed by Sega and released in the arcade in November of 1987. Uh, director Yutaka Sugano. And this was also on the Sega System 16 and then uh, later released on um, 
the Sega Mega Drive or, or Genesis as well, um, as well as um, Nintendo Entertainment System on the PC Engine as well, on the Master System. Uh, so this got a release on quite a few different platforms in the home consoles as well. Uh, not a game I played much as a kid, either in the arcade or on the Sega Mega Drive. I preferred the later games um, like Shadow Dancer um, as an example, but um, this is a great game that I've had a lot of fun playing on this arcade one-up system. Alright, so thanks, thanks for watching. A um, couple of things I want to cover. You may have seen um, at the start of the video uh, there was a Golden Axe stall, which Lily is sitting on. Um, Arcade One Up don't make a matching Golden Axe stall. I don't know why. I think it would sell pretty well. But Lily, what do you think to this um, stall cover from Arcade Stall Covers? It's a lot more comfortable because it has extra padding in it. Yeah, it does. So um, these stall covers from Arcade Stall Covers, I've put them over an existing Arcade One Up stall. There is extra padding in the cover, which is pretty cool. Um, it's actually a decal that sits on a, um, a kind of high quality stool cover. So it works pretty well, looks excellent as you can see at the start of the video. Um, I gave my comments then. Lily obviously prefers this stool. So yeah, if you're looking for a little bit of extra comfort and some unique designs, definitely recommend the stool covers from um, Arcade Stool Covers. Squishy. Back to the cabinet. So um, what do we think? Where does um, this place overall in, in the arcade? Well, we all know I have a little specials, which is Outrun, Star Wars, Pen, the Pinballs, and Marvel vs. Capcom. So this is just not what my liking is. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's a different game, so it's called for a full player. Would you play this with friends or would you prefer Turtles? Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and then, final question for you, out of the games, the five games that are on here, which is your favourite game? Uh, this one right now. Uh, the, Re the, Reven the Revenge of Death Adder. Yeah. <laughs> it right. has Dora in it. Because it has Dora. <laughs> Even though it's not Dora the Explorer, Lily prefers the Dora. And Dora is Queen. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm going to say I love this cabinet. For me, this was a must-have purchase. I used to play this with my buddy back in the UK on the Atari ST primarily. No, but we played it a lot in the arcade. So my favourite game on here, just for the original feel, is the original Gold Map. But the other games are pretty cool on this cabinet as well. I think if I was designing this cabinet, I'd probably want to make like a 12-in-1 Sega cabinet. I'd want to see things like Space Harrier on there, maybe Super Hang On. Um, some other Sega titles would have been cool, but for me, um, if it just had Golden Axe, I would have bought it. As for replay value, probably similar to Turtles. Um, you know, the kids do play Turtles a lot more, particularly on the four player. I think on this, probably adults, because of the size of the panel, probably more of a two player game. But kids are going to play this as well. So overall, this is a great cabinet. Definitely in your top 10, if you're getting 10 cabinets. Not sure I'd put it in the top five, maybe for kind of, um, replay reasons as we discussed. I think maybe Turtles would be slightly better for most people, but for me, must have purchase and a definite cool addition to the game dream. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, we've enjoyed making this free review. I hope you have too. If you have, like and subscribe. If not, tell us why you didn't like the video. But above all else, happy gaming and we'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.